Hi friends! Today we're going to do a math lesson on decomposing numbers again, only this time I'm going to show you a way to make a really cool pattern using two different colors when you are decompose your um, sets. Okay, so today we are going to work with the number six again. And um, so I've set up here one, two, three, four, five, six columns of um, counters and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows because we know that there are seven ways to make six. And that's why I set it up that way. Okay, so if you look at the um, counters, the first row we're going to leave alone. Okay, so that's going to be your um, zero plus six is, is six. Okay, so the next one, you're just gonna turn over the first one. Okay, so then you have one plus one, two, three, four, five, is six okay the second one you're going to turn over one just like you did before only going to turn over another so then you'll have one two plus one two three four equals six okay and the next row you're going to turn over two just like you did above only going to turn over one more and this time you have so they're all crooked one two three plus one two three is six Okay, then here you're going to turn over the three, like you did here, and then one more, and then you'll have one, two, three, four, plus one, two is six. Are you seeing a pattern show up here, or emerge? That's the word I was using before. Um, so uh, on the next row, you're going to turn over the first four, just like you did above. So you're kind of copying what you did above, and then turning one more. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five, plus one is six. And then on the last row, you're going to turn over the same amount you did above, plus one more. And what you have is your one, two, three, four, five, six, plus zero is, is six. So when you get to the point where you're last row or with the where you get a row say and they're all one color you'll start with all one color when you end with all one color you know you have done you're done there's no other ways to make um, six and you'll see a cool pattern emerge see how it made like two triangles almost like stairs okay so I'm going to show you how to do that with paper because not everybody has two-sided magnetic counters so first take a piece of paper Fold it this way and then fold it in half like this. Okay. Then keeping it that way, you're going to fold it in half again. Okay, like that. Then keeping it like this, you're going to fold it in half one more time. Okay. So Then you're going to open it up, try to smooth it out a little bit, it's sitting on the floor, so. okay. And then you can see that you have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rows, okay. So you only need seven for this. And what I did after, you can, you can do it too, it was just, I'm do, I did this so it's easier for you to see. On, on the camera, but it might help you at home too. I then, I took those folds and I drew lines where the folds were. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it up here so I can show you how you can use this to basically do what we did over here. Okay, so you need two color markers, okay? And I need, well I said I know I need seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna leave that in the clip. All right, so I'm going to start with one color and I'm going to make a row of six all the way across. I'm going to do circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then I'm going to take my other color and I'm going to make the first one that color. So I used green. So one green. Oh, I should set up here. So this is your six. Your zero plus six is, is six. So then 
one green and then the rest two three four five you can see i'm trying to line them up so i can see that pattern okay so then i have my one plus one two three four five then on the next line i'm going to do two in the other color and then the rest right underneath four so two plus one, two, three, four is six. And then you keep going. Again, the same amount as you had above. And then one more right under it. That's three. And then one, two, three more makes six. Seven. Okay. And then the next line. Let me see some markers. <laughs> oh, you do. One, two three and then the one more and then your last two one two three four plus one two is six and then again one two three four and one more six okay and then finally you're going to do one two, three, four, five, and then one more six until you see that you have a similar pattern. So try that, since you have the one more row, if you use a paper like this, try it with seven and show me what you have. Put it in the comments below and uh, we'll see what it looks like with uh, decomposing seven instead of six. All right, I'll check in later. Take care.